Okay, uh, welcome to this sort of extra part to this series. Um, sorry about my chair there. <laughs> um, a problem has been pointed out with uh, the code from this tutorial. Um, nothing major, so don't like panic and then sue me, but um, it does cause a few problems. So this is the video list page that we created during the main part of the tutorial. And as you can see, um, the last video here is the first video I, I created, the introduction video. However, this is not the oldest video on my channel. Um, this should be part zero of this series. Um, the reason this uh, problem occurs is, the way, is because of the way, um, well basically I misunderstood the YouTube API. Um, and I just want to uh, correct that mistake here. So um, from our backend file, which I have open here, um, this, this should be like familiar with you. Um, it's been quite a while since I've used this uh, tutorial code, so hopefully it makes sense to you. Um, so where we created this last variable here, um, we were guessing the last link that the API was providing and seeing if it was the next link or the previous link. Now the reason the problem occurs is that we were always checking position 5 uh, and on page 1 of the results uh, position 5 contains the next link. However, on page 2, if there is a page 3, position 5 contains the previous link and then position 6 contains the next link. Uh, and if there isn't a next page, position 5 becomes the previous link, which was the condition we were checking and I believe that's what I explained in the video. Um, so the way to get around this is to make sure we actually have the last element. So 6 if, it's, if it exists or 5 if not. Um, so I have initially tried to do this using the end function, which returns the last element of a given array. So I just did this, uh, but for some reason that returns the first element. So if anyone can work that out, please let me know, because it's quite bugging me. <laughs> um, but the way that I've solved this problem here is to... Uh, let's just change this back to how it was. 56. The way that I've solved this problem here is to simply check using the ternary operator. So I'm going to do the is set check on XML link six so if the sixth element exists we're going to use that element so again xml link six and if not we'll use five which is what i have here and i'm also just going to put this in brackets to make it a bit clearer um, with this typecasting and now i'm going to have to add the or true that we used in the video so or true and what this does is just makes this block here like always run because true will always be true so this will always happen now and this will never happen so basically it's overriding the cache file check so let's just go open up our browser now and hit reload it takes a little while now because it has to go to the API and you can see we've just got one extra video added um, so that's that problem basically and a brief explanation of it um, so just back to the code uh, the pro oh, let's remove the or true because we don't need that anymore Oops. there we go so that's that basically fixed um, this also applies to the playlist code, the p function to get all the playlists. So if I just scroll down, I'll show you that I have actually already edited this file and added th this same line here. So we're checking if the sixth element exists. If it does, we're using it. If not, we use element 5. And for some reason, uh, um, the end function doesn't work because XML link is an array itself. But I, yeah, I don't know. So that could be a bug. <laughs> Seems unlikely. I'm probably doing it wrong. Anyway, that's that update. And as you saw, then now it will honestly get all of the information from the YouTube API. So sorry for that little problem. I won't ramble on about how everybody makes mistakes, but there you go.